Stephen, what was you inside for? Possession of an offensive weapon in a public place. Did you hurt anybody? Nope, just myself. Explain that to me. Um, I've got mental health conditions and my mind sort of goes into these funny do's where I start hurting myself. I'd never hurt anyone else. So you had mental health issues, you went out with an offensive weapon, you got arrested in uh, for offensive weapon, is that right? Yeah. Right, um, so how long did you spend in Armley Jail? Approximately six weeks. Um, okay, what was your experience in that time? It's horrible. There's drug use all over the place, every cell, weapons, phones, there's always illegal stuff in there. I've seen proper knives, I've seen slingshots which can fire a razor blade and it will cut you. In one cell, I remember seeing an ounce, which is worth about 200 quid of weed, that had been stashed in. I don't know how they got it in, but it was a big, big packet. Spice, I've seen a lot of that in there. A lot of sheets of paper, people just get family to bring them in. When I was in my cell, I came out of my cell and there was a guy coming down the stairs. He'd been smoking spice. He went into a fit, fell down the stairs, and he arrested on the floor. Thankfully, they resuscitated him, but then all they did was put him back in his cell to sleep it off. He should have been taken to hospital and looked after. They didn't do that. On some of the yards, they put netting up, but that doesn't work. They fly over with drones and drop stuff at people's windows. I've seen that happen. Um, the throw, something as innocent as a tennis ball, filled with something, a mobile phone or some drugs or something, that they come flying over. I was in with someone and he had nine mobile phones that I used to sell out to other people, rent out to other people. I was asleep one night and the next day I spoke to my partner, Oliver. He seemed off and I says, what's up? He says, oh, you had this photo sent? And apparently this photo is of me asleep with my pad mate with a knife in his hand, a proper combat knife, pointing it at me and threatening my partner to pay £100 or I'd be hurt. So, um, this came to you, Oliver? Yeah, this came to me, yeah. So this was a picture that was sent to you, Oliver, and you was asked to pay £100. Um, do you want to tell us a bit about that? I was asked to pay £100 by, I think this was 10 o'clock in the morning, I was asked to pay the £100 by dinner time. Otherwise, they just said to me that Stephen would be hurt. In your opinion, Stephen, uh, what do you think of the prison service now? It's on its back. The prison is run by the prisoners. People go in there and they'll come out worse. They come out worse than before, addicted to drugs, more violent than when they came in. They should be rehabilitated in there, not hardened, because that's what's happening at the minute.